Hello all, it's James Johnson, a.k.a. Saul for Blade. Welcome back to NBA 2K23 and my career uh, Let's Play, where I'm basically playing as a short white guy who can't jump. Can't shoot. Pretty decent at passing. Has some turnover problems. Wants to be a dominant defensive player but gives up the most points on the team. He's kind of a complete oxymoron. But, you know, that's just who I am. <clears throat> and yes, I'm, I'm playing with just a keyboard, no controller. And that's probably part of the problem. But I think it gives it a certain amount of character to watch. So let's jump in to the next game. All right. Uh, evidently we're playing Toronto, and I don't know what that icon is. I guess this, it means that this is like a, a fully televised national audience type thing for, or something like that, I'm gonna guess. So, how many games are left? Is there a way to see that? Jesus Christ, how long is this goddamn season? Holy cats. Oh, I've, uh, I've already played these. <clears throat> February, March, April. The season's just too damn long. There's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Welcome to this week's episode of NBA 2K TV. We're a week into 2023, which means some of you might be going back to work or school, but the fun never stops in 2K23. That's right, so let's tip off this week with some BC to get your year started off right. Ready or not? Here we go. Former 2K cover athlete, Luca Dar These are two high-flying teams, Grant. Loads of athleticism on the floor. What's it like to play in a game like this? Well, B.A., it is the best. It's so much fun. I mean, of course, here we're expecting lots of fast breaks, dunks, just in general, a lot of action. And, of course, the fans love these type of games. I can't wait. So the Raptors starting five. And Anobi and Barnes are the forwards. Then there's the two. <coughs> then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Benton in at the two. And here are the Bucks now, fresh off a win against the Pacers. And they got into a consistent offensive flow, largely because the defense they were facing was poor. Yeah, it seemed like they have got every shot they wanted. I'm sure they wish every game could be that way. Just four to shoot. Shit. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. And there's the <coughs> shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. I don't shoot, Giannis. Why'd you throw it to me? <clears throat> Here's Toronto now. Now Van Vliet. His last outing, he had 20. And so the ball out of bounds. On a Kuklo touched it last. And an Obi for three. Three straight misses to begin this contest and already starting to look frustrated. Pass to Middleton. Outside Johnson. Here's Portis. Good on the bucket. That was physical D. I guess my handoff didn't count as an assist, so huh? He finished through contact. The Raptors are taking a patient approach, 
they understand to get back to a championship level, they've got to grow from within. Here's Benton. 14 points his last outing. Achua. On and Akupo with the block. Heads up defense by Giannis. His ability to anticipate the shot pays off with the block. <laughs> keep going, brutal. keep going. Five Portis. Misses to begin the game. Oh, I didn't get now to you. Portis giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. And that one drops for him. And despite setting their sights on the future, Smitty, last season, the Raptors still claim the fifth seed in the East. Exceeding expectations, that's what they do. And with their great player development program, they have every reason to believe they'll continue to improve. Barnes against Honor de Kumpo. Here's Patton. That's in. Coming oh, off an assist oh, from Barnes. You can't teach court awareness. Barnes understands when his guys are uncovered. Portis, right side. Over Achua. And it's Milwaukee scoring again. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And Toronto calls time here. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. <laughs> it always helps when your opponent turns the ball over that many times. I thought it was the deciding factor overall. There were some unforced errors, but they also created some mistakes through their intensity on both ends. Here in the first, approaching three minutes play to the middle. And on to Kupo over to help. Lots of room. That one doesn't drop. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Last time they met in Toronto, where they beat the Raptors. They flat out dominated the last time these teams squared <coughs> off, particularly on the glass. They generated second chance opportunities on one end, preventing them on the other end. That was the story of the game. Now here's Ananobi. He's coming off a 13-point game against New York. And it wasn't just the scorn. He also impacted the game on the glass. <laughs> Terrific all-around effort. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Here's Johnson. Still getting Son of up a offensively. Fucker. No buckets yet in the game for him. And Anobi finds Barnes. Kicks it out to Ananobi. What? Why did you leave me with that guy? Seven foot two wingspan. OG Ananobi. That was not my guy. Johnson passes to Ananakumpo. Shoots over Barnes. And Ananakumpo, the ball. All the assist by Johnson. Oh my goodness. Five straight coming out of the gate. Pass to Benton. Knocks it loose. Out of bounds as Toronto keeps possession. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. against Honor de Kumpo. And so the ball out of bounds. Honor de Kumpo touched it last. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Connects from downtown. Three points. And so it's Milwaukee with it. It's rare for an undrafted player to make an impact, but Fred Van Vliet has earned his spot in the league. 
the sixth man on a title team back in 2019, and he's become an all-star. Smitty Van Vliet's become an all-star. <coughs> is he the best undrafted player in the NBA, you think? Well, B.A., Ben Wallace is the standard, a multiple-time defensive player of the year winner. Champions like Bruce Bowen and Udonis Haslam, they're right up there, but Fred Van Vliet has a chance when it's all said and done to be the best. That free throw good from Portis. Well, we're at the time of the calendar when some teams go through a midseason lull. Grant, what has to be done to avoid that? Well, first of all, you have to keep your composure. You cannot panic. Mid and of season. course, this is when a coach earns his Isn't keep. This, the Motivation this should be key. like the end of the season. Keeping the players focused and making sure nobody starts coasting. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. Pass to Benton. Back to Van Vliet. Outside Barnes. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. That's got to be a relief. After three straight misses, he finally gets one to go. Outside Holiday. On the wing, Holiday. Back to Johnson. On to Kumpo. Left side. Just three to shoot. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. And the balance Giannis has. Outstanding job taking the contact and finishing despite it. Toronto calls timeout. The timeout. He's checked in for the Bucks. Birch, he's checked in for Toronto. Trent comes in for Banton. Birch the pass to Barnes. Trent outside. On an Akumpo with the block. They recover it. Trent outside. And an Obi for three. Giannis with the rebound. Milwaukee in the lead. It's Johnson with a drive. It's good. Unbelievable. You talk about players who have transformed this league. Giannis is at the top of that list. Just a tremendous pass right there. Now here's Van Vliet. An important score for this team. Averaging around 25 and a half a game. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Pass to Johnson. On the wing, Holiday. Lopez. He's guarded by Birch. Johnson against Trent. Five on the clock. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Ana de Kumpo has got his third basket on the night right there. Trent outside. And Anobi with it. A valuable part of their offense. Averaging a little more than 16 a game. Holiday against Van Vliet. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's on Drew Holiday. And when you look at Van Vliet on the floor, you would think he gets targeted on defense. But for a player his size, he more than holds his own. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Bucs. Break. For break. me, it's all about the Two paint. Shots. I like how they've utilized the post, looking to dump it down and capitalize when they see opportunities. It's paying off. Yeah, also, you got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive, and the assist numbers are off the chart. 
has always been a tremendous defender, in my opinion, and he knows he's going to knock down his free throws. But now Fred Van Vliet has emerged as a terrific all-around scorer. He can pretty much do it all. Ingles, he's checked in for the Bucks. Carter comes in for Holiday. And Van Vliet, a very solid defender at his position, Grant. Not great length, but strong as any B.A. I mean, he has great hands to bother the ball handler and great defensive IQ that makes the most of his athleticism. Now here's Ingles. Johnson passes to Lopez. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. Johnson's got four assists in the game. They have no answer defensively inside. Trent outside. And here's Porter. He's averaging about six points per game. Boucher outside. Here's Van Vliet. And the Raptors miss again. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Pass to Ingles. Porter with the steal. Ha! <sighs> I thought Lopez was going to break into the lane, and I was hoping that I was going to pass it to him, not all the way across the fucking world. Right side Knocked loose. Stolen by Middleton. Out of bounds. It'll be Toronto's ball. Toronto trailing. Here's Boucher. Yeah, that one's Boucher. good. Don't be fooled by his slender frame. Boucher is more than capable of taking contact and finishing inside. Back to Middleton. And it's Middleton finishing it off. And I love how he's pushing the tempo and creating for others. He does this game in and game out. Incredible. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. Now here's Trent. He had 16 in the win against the Knicks in New York. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Middleton passes to Johnson. Back to Middleton. And it's Middleton finishing it off. Oh, a beauty. Aggressive. If you keep doing that, Middleton, I'm going to keep throwing it to you. <clears throat> Toronto has gone four of eight from outside in this first quarter. Trent outside. Knocked away. Outside Johnson. Uh, let's make Pass sure we Ingles. make something out of this. Back to Johnson. Shot clock at six. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. A jump ball! <laughs> oh my god. Why, why are we even bothering here? How do I even do this? And it's the Raptors with the ball. The Raptors shooting 44% to start this ball game. Van Vliet, the pass to Trent. 27 seconds left in the first quarter here. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. You can count on him to bring the energy. Boucher crashes in and gets the effort points off the rebound. Back to Middleton. Outside Johnson. Pass to Lopez. Outside Carter. Johnson with it. Here's Middleton. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Bucks ahead, up by one. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Ladies and gentlemen, your Bucks use dancing. And getting it going again here. Checked in from 
Milwaukee. Johnson comes in for Drew Holiday. The Raptors also with a sub. Van Vliet's checked in. Shooting one. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. At any time a player is asked about pressure, they'll say, I don't feel it. Smitty, I don't believe it. No, you shouldn't be. I think what they're doing is, obviously, you don't want to show weakness. And it's about different players, how they manage it. And I think some players do a better job than others. So for Toronto right now, Ananobi and Barnes are the forwards. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. Then there's the Chua. And it's Benton in at the two. And so here is Toronto. Following the score by Milwaukee. Outside Ananobi. Six on the shot clock. Achua finds Van Vliet. Got a piece of it. Here's Patton. Oh, no good. The dry spell continues. Pass to Connaughton. Back to Johnson. Allen, the pass to Johnson. On to Kumpo, left side. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Johnson's got eight assists here tonight. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots, you have to want to make the effort. Lopez, he's checked in for Ana de Cupo. Middleton comes in for Connaughton, and it's Carter in for Allen. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, guys, Pascal Siakam's play had dipped for a while after he got the big bag. He said, it was like, you got the max contract, but are you the guy? That's something I really struggle with. But there's still another level that I can get to, and I see myself as an all-star, and there's a lot more to unleash. Brian? Yeah, just now entering his prime, Allie. Thank you. At the line for two. Shooting two. That's good from Porter. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. And it's getting them to the free throw line. Porter hits them both. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Carter, the pass to Johnson. And here's Lopez. Cash. Thank you, Lopez. He picking up the assist. And the Bucks lead by seven. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. And the Bucks making a change here. Ingles is checked in. Into the lineup for your box, Joe Ingles. Hey, watch work, watch work. Order the pass to Van Vliet. Pass to Boucher. Buries it from three. Boucher. Boucher's got seven points. And we've seen Boucher be more willing to take threes. You understand why. Splash. Back to Middleton. And it's Middleton finishing it off. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Or good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. 
Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. Here's Van Vliet. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. Outside for Porter. Boucher against Middleton. Three-pointer Van Vliet. No luck on that one. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Cleveland where they'll face the Cavaliers. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. Here's Johnson. Pass to Lopez. Outside Carter. Clock at six. Now here's Middleton. Ingles from outside. Here's Lopez. The basket drops, and he gets fouled. Good job, Lopez. Shot. One free throw coming his way. <clears throat> Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. First personal foul. Team is in the penalty. At the line for the box. Rook Lopez. One shot. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. So it's Toronto now. Nine-point game. Pass to Ben. Oh, they get a hand on it. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Johnson. <sighs> one of these times I'm going to get you. Here's Porter. Ingles defending. Boucher right side. Six to shoot. Got it. Good job in the low post. Boucher's got nine points. Nice play, Boucher. Maintaining focus after what could have been called a foul. And that was the mobile one drive. No resistance to the finish line. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. In the first now here's Johnson. Two minutes. Pass to Lopez. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. Johnson's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him tonight. Toronto's gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Back to Van Vliet. To the wing, right side. Off the left rim and out. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. And he gets that one. And now it's an 11-point Bucks lead. And they've really managed to dominate <clears throat> inside. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Benton. Carter against Van Vliet. Over Carter. The rebound by the Bucks. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Here's Benton. Pass to Porter. Let's it go from deep. Benton can't get it to go. In this first half, he is really falling in love with the three. So far, not paying dividends. Johnson with a bucket. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. The Raptors shooting just 38% for this game so far. against Van Vliet. Six on the shot clock to end the run. The shot won't fall. Giannis oh! Has been on display for the Should have had a better awareness at the time. Points in the quarter. He's on fire. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. All right, half.
Actually, an acceptable half. I'm happy with that. gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, but his blocks tell only part of the story. His presence alone is making an impact on defense. Yes, defensively what they've done, they funnel people his way and banking on his ability to intimidate. Inside at the four and five, it's Giannis and Porter. Wow. Lopez Whoa. Right there with Johnson. And it's Middleton in at the three. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. To the inside. And Anadokounmpo with the basket on the assist by Johnson. Anadokounmpo's got 19 points. And it's the Raptors with the ball, trailing by 19. And following this one, they'll take on the Timberwolves in Minnesota. That game will conclude the three-game road trip. To let me around. Let me around. Van Vliet outside. Here's Benton. Counted from distance. 12 points for him. As a distributor, Fred Van Vliet is so effective. He knows when and where to feed his guys. Johnson passes to Anadokounmpo. And another dime for him. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Pass to Benton. Now here's Achua. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. They pin that one on Giannis Anadokounmpo. A 2020 first round pick. Precious Achua was traded before his second year in the league. You know what's interesting, B.A., going from Miami to Toronto in the Kyle Lowry deal. It's rare to trade a guy after his rookie year, but Precious, he had a great second year. It's a rare to trade a guy after their rookie year, huh? <laughs> I... I foresee that happening to me for some reason. And he makes it first. Drew Holiday's checked in for Lopez. And so he's able to get one of two. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. Pass to Johnson. It's Middleton on the wing. And an OB covering. Portis right side. Whoa! Achua with a steal. God damn it, game. Why? Van Vliet outside. Throw it there. Two minutes into the second half of play now. The ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Johnson. It's Middleton on the wing. Not Portis? Portis is wide open. Outside Johnson. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And again, another assist. That's another dime from him. He's tallying them up fast, B.A. Time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. So I've noticed that there's some... Uh, there's, there's some ability to mess with the passing. Like, where to prioritize formula-ish thing. But I don't even know where to begin with that. I'm thinking about turning down the, throwing it all the way across the fucking field. Gary Trent Jr. He's checked in for por Bay. portion of it. <clears throat> a little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. 
Holiday against Van Vliet. Pass to Achua. Back to Van Vliet. Clock at six. And again, Toronto, no good. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. Middleton finds Ana de Kumpo. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Defensive foul. Fred Van Vliet. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Milwaukee. Giannis Antetokounmpo. At the line for one. One shot. I have to admit that the game throws it to who I'm planning for the game to throw it to about maybe 30% of the time. <laughs> and that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. An MVP caliber talent, the rise of Giannis from scrawny teenager to bulked up superstar has been great to watch. He gets it in there. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. For Milwaukee, they've gone an impressive 5 of 5 so far in the third quarter. It's Middleton on the way. Like, right there I was trying to pass to Giannis, but it threw it down to Middleton. Some fire from Middleton. <clears throat> He's a springy 6'8", attacking off the wing. Down low. Achua with the dunk. Gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. Holiday passes to Johnson. Achua with a steal. Ah, uh, Portis. Get down into the low Hard post, not the high post. Pass to Van Vliet. Trent up top. Shoots over Johnson. And Trent the bucket on the assist by Van Vliet. Trent's got 12 points in the game. The mid-range is somewhere Gary Trent Jr. can be very effective. Johnson finds Ana de Kumpo. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, they haven't missed a shot since the break. I mean, just what a tremendous job making the necessary adjustments at halftime. Second team foul. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Milwaukee. For me, consistent penetration. So I think the problem that I'm having is that the they're also doing a good the computer job the ball wants to have the big the man come up and set a pick. And I don't want the big man to come up and set a pick. I, I'm not going to, you know, drive off of his pick. I want the big man to get into the low post. That one misses for get some Kubo. distance from me. Allow me to pass it into him. Shots to drop in the third. <clears throat> so I'm fighting what the, the computer Holland. is trying to do most of the time it feels like Van Vliet outside pass to Trent there's the three it's hauled in by Portis the Bucks have gone a perfect seven for seven and looking strong in this third quarter on an Akumpo right side Connaughton outside Milwaukee no good that time either Toronto has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime Ananobi can't get it to go. The Bucks shooting an out of this world 77%. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Johnson. Pass to Holiday. Up top, Johnson. Guarded by Trent. Fader on the way. Here's Portis. And then Portis with the dunk. Must put a body on Portis. He loves to crash the offensive glass. Van Vliet, the pass to Trent. Back to Van Vliet. Achua with it. Here's Trent. God fucking and he bless it. it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet <sighs> setup on that one. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, he has that fight in him. Love the aggression at the rim when they are trying to claw back into the game. Now here's Portis. He's got 14. Shot clock at six. Pass to Holiday. Over Van Vliet. 
And it's Toronto with a rebound. Hachua's got five rebounds tonight. So who's my guy? Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And it's hard to overstate the impact OG Ananobi has on defense. Great day. B.A., an absolute terror on the wing. I mean, he has great length, moves well, just one of the best one-on-one -on -one perimeter defenders in the league. <clears throat> I feel like my game is starting to slow down. I was having a really good game, and now it's starting to... The brakes are being applied. I want to get get it back going again. I want to continue this good game. That free throw, no good. When you talk about OG Ananobi, here is a guy who gets better every season. Works hard on his game. A different look for Milwaukee. Wagner comes in for Anadokounmpo, and it's Allen in for Johnson. Bert, he's checked in for Toronto. Boucher comes. Coach, you better let me get back in the game, damn it. Now here's Van Vliet on the court for Toronto to start the fourth. They've got Otto Porter. Precious Achua is out there with Barnes. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Patton in at the shooting guard position. Middleton finds Johnson. And Grant, you played on the Suns team whose training staff was renowned. Is that still a differentiator between teams, or has everybody caught up and on the same level now? You know, B.A., I think everyone's caught up. You know, 15 years ago, the Suns training staff was ahead of their time. But now teams are all much more sophisticated. They understand injury prevention, rest, recovery, really aiding the players, and I think adding years for players in the back end of their careers. And the first one at the line is good. Carter, he's checked in for the Bucks. The Raptors also with a sub. Flynn, he's checked in for Van Vliet. And so Anadokounmpo nails both of them. Here's Benton. Pass to Flynn. Middleton against Porter. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Well, when you look at the wing position, how do you feel it's evolved since you played, Smitty? Well, they've been asked to do more, B.A., especially on the defensive end. Mostly wings now are asked to guard one through five with teams switching a lot. And also, a lot of these wing guys are asked to run the offense. Drew Holiday's checked in for Carter. And Toronto also making a switch. Van Vliet's checked in. Well, the Bucks shooting an unreal 69%. Really special stuff here. Honor to Kumpo against Barnes. Back to Johnson. Lopez in the post. Good. And the assist goes to MP. And using that size to his advantage. I mean, I like it when Lopez establishes himself inside and looks to capitalize. 
We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Barnes again sounded a Kumpo. Here's Van Vliet. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Van Vliet's got 10 points here in the second half. This coaching staff has the utmost confidence in Fred Van Vliet, and he's really cooking tonight. Back to Johnson. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Benton, covered by Johnson. Benton, good. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. Holiday passes to Johnson. Puts it up from 15. They get it back. Second chance shot. And the layup good okay, by okay. Lopez. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Pass to Benton. Dribble it, Bannon. Come on, I dare you. Van Vliet outside. Let me get over there. Just five Damn to it. shoot. Outside guards. <clears throat> Three-pointer, no good. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the What was power. that, Giannis? The Raptors have gone three You're not a three-point shooter. And, and not on a fast oh, break. <laughs> the complete game of Otto Porter. Overplay him, and it's a good bet. He'll find the open man. Middleton outside. Johnson passes to Middleton. Good, and the assist goes to MP. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused, and they've executed. And no lack of aggression on that move. Come on, dribble it. The 2K drive. You know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. Pass to Benton. Damn it. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Second personal foul. And the rise of the internet has helped give players their own voice. But now with podcasts and other streams, Grant, they're also able to monetize their voice. Yeah, players understand the value of their voice and also how to monetize that. Speaking directly to their fans, to their customers, using these different platforms. You know, I think broadcasters need I think you and I need to have a podcast, B.A. For sure. I know we can't afford you, though. <laughs> that might be true. The first free throw is good. And the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Granted, kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first what of the all, hell are they it talking is the about? postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Middleton passes to Johnson. Back to Middleton. Outside Johnson. Pass to Lopez. Outside Johnson. And here's Middleton. Over Barnes. Another possession, another assist. Another possession, another assist. Man, is he sharing the ball well. Hitting his guys right in their spots. Here's Benton, covered by Johnson. And an Obi for three. That shot missing. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pass to Hill. Over Van Vliet. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Fred Van Vliet. And Hill, very steady at the free throw line. Not the guy you want to give any cheap fouls against. George Hill. Two shots. First one falls. Grant, you look at the playoffs last year. I mean, a lot of big-name stars struggled to deliver. Is that every year, or you think that was an anomaly? 
I, you know, B.A., I think it was a bit of an anomaly. I mean, I, I, I think you think what's happened in the league in the last few years with the bubble and then the restart last season, there's been a lot of basketball played, and I think it's impacted a lot of players. So I think moving forward, we'll get back to a level of normalcy with the rest and recovery of the offseason, and big-name stars will continue to excel and thrive in the years to come. Now Achua, Van Vliet outside, from outside the arc. And again, no good by Toronto. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. Outside Johnson. Here's Lopez. Yet another assist. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. He's doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Barnes lays it up and Scotty banks Barnes. it in. Thought we had the ball there for a second. Scotty Barnes holds his own in the paint. Hill the pass to Johnson. Barnes against Hunter Kumpo. Back to Johnson. Pass to Lopez. They double him with a Chua. The kick out to Johnson. Ana de Kumpo, left side. Shoots over Barnes. And Ana de Kumpo, the bucket. On the assist by Johnson. Down the stretch. This is when they need him the most. And he is delivering. Here's Benton. It's Barnes on the wing. And Smitty, so often it seems like we make championships the measure of historical greatness. Is enough made of the individual Not achievements, you think? Four why did you go to the three-point line? Win, but game That's where you should have been. Like Damn it, Giannis. Why do you do that shit? Gervin, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> they haven't won championships, but they are still special. Van Vliet against Hill. Pass to Benton. Outside Ananobi. And he lays it up and OG in. Ananobi. Much improved footwork, and he's already strong. Ananobi getting it done inside. Middleton passes to Johnson. Tipped away. Out of bounds. It'll be Toronto's ball. Raptors ball. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts mm -hmm. like this. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. A different look for Milwaukee. Wagner's checked in for Lopez. Ibaka comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Allen in for Johnson. Shit. Well, that's my game Here's then. Here's So it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight, and the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. And that'll do it, folks. So for Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. So long, everyone.
How close are we getting? Number four still. <clears throat> Cleveland Cavaliers, fifth in the East. Playing a lot of strong teams here, this, this stretch that now, we've been on. Now, who is the only other NBA athlete to have a 60-point triple-double? Was it Wilt Chamberlain, LeBron James, James Harden, or Magic Johnson? the meat of the season are you seeing any emerging trends out there for a few years uh, the trend had been guys shooting from farther and farther out but Kevin I think we're seeing a return of the big man a, a more concerted effort to attack the interior here are the starters for Milwaukee Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him the assist Johnson is out there with holiday and it's Middleton in at the three side Passes it to Levert. Outside Garland. Back to Levert. A three ball. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter. Middleton, why didn't David you go to the paint? You would have been Kevin wide freaking open. to talk with J.D. Bickerstaff for a minute. He said a primary concern is to prevent those easy three-point looks from outside. He said closing out hard on the shooters is going to be the key. Yes, if they don't bother the shooters, he said, it's going to be a very long four quarters. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. Devising a strategy to take away that three-point shot. Here's Mitchell following the basket by Chris Middleton. Now, Levert. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. And how about the playmaking skills of Levert? I, I like watching this guy break down the D in the pick and roll. Now here's Johnson. To the paint, and he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Following the bucket by the Bucks. Good on the triple. It's great whenever a big knows how to handle it. Allen sharing the wealth. Onto Takumbo, passes to Johnson. Pass to Lopez. Out of the Kumbo, trying to break loose. Mm. Second shot opportunity, and it's good on the layup. The Ideal way to start the game. Come out of the gate and knock down all but one of your first five shots. The pass to Levert. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Down to five on the shot clock. That one, no good. Great D that time for Middleton. Anadokounmpo kicks to Johnson. Back to Giannis. Kicks it out to Johnson. Lopez left side. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Whatever drawbacks Lopez may have, scoring in the post isn't one of them. He is a nightmare for opposing defenses to deal with down low. Middleton outside. Here's Giannis. Trying to get open is Lopez. Giannis. And Giannis hits it to go. Assist on the assist by Johnson. Johnson. Johnson's got three assists tonight. The Cavaliers trail by seven. GA, it wasn't long ago that the Cavs were an afterthought in the NBA. Well, not anymore. I mean, Cleveland has a tremendous young roster. They play some of the toughest D in the NBA, and they're only going to get better 
in the years to come. Now Johnson after Darius Garland missing on that last three-pointer. Back to Johnson. Lopez against Allen. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. A nice shot there by Antetokounmpo. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense. And now tough to keep the consistency from deep. But they did it last time. into the line. First. Big frame, Three, good score. Pump fake for Allen, but it's too much for the defense. Jared Allen. Now let's take a moment Taking to get your shots. guys' take on the scoring so far for Milwaukee. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Allen. Allen is a monster on the glass and continues to improve as a scorer. Second free throw, no good. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Johnson surveying the floor. Pass to Lopez. Kicks it out to Johnson. Get out of the lane, Lopez. Hans it to Kumbo, dishes to Middleton. And it's another That's Milwaukee Middleton. shot right there going in. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really set the tone on offense, and the offense has not been able to respond. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Now here's Johnson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. The Bucks working the ball around. Kumbo kicks to Johnson. Here's Lopez. Offensive rebound. On to Takumbo with the bucket. Giannis has got eight points. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Mitchell outside. Passes it to Levert. Here's Allen. Mobley trying to free himself up. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. A second. That's on Brooke Lopez. We have seen Allen look more for That's his offense over the years, which in turn Jared draws Allen. the D's attention. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Shooting two. That one is off. A different look now for Cleveland. Evan Love comes in for Evan Mobley. And it's Jetty Osman in for Levert. The Bucks also with the sub. Portis, he's checked in for Brooke Lopez. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Johnson with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. That's tipped. Mm. And now the fast break. Mitchell with the ball. The wide open look here for Garland. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. 
good for a couple of those per game. Garland silky from three. And Garland, a finalist for most... To be honest, God damn it! Oh, why wasn't it throw it where I wanted to throw it? Mitchell wide open. And another three for Cleveland. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Milwaukee leading by four. Antetokounmpo passes Giannis. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo. And that move has become second nature for Giannis. Once he establishes position, game over. For Cleveland, they've gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. For Garland, he put in the work, and it all came together for him, GA. And his shooting reached a tipping point. It was given the keys as a playmaker, and this is a great situation for him. What he's made the most of his first, first team foul. The Bucs shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And team free throw numbers are really about as good as you could ask for, around 80% on the season. The first one drops. A different look now for Cleveland. Stevens is checked in. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Donovan Mitchell. Grayson Allen's checked in. Cavaliers leading by four on the court for Milwaukee here in the second. The talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at four. Holiday out there with Johnson. And it's Lopez in at the center filling out the middle. He had a nice open look right there. Mitchell's got six. And when he's hitting from deep, Mitchell's practically unguardable. Can't crowd him out there. He Why did you come to the top of the key? Holiday Fuck me. Johnson. In the corner, Middleton. Why did you pass it across the fucking? Er. Good for the fifth time in <clears> five <throat> shots. He remains perfect. And this is something Middleton's improved over time, converting through contact. Astonetto. And here's Levert. Allen surveying the D. Stolen by Middleton. The feed now to Antetokounmpo. That's where I wanted to throw it. It hurts all that much more. Levert kicks to Neto. For three, Mitchell. Rebounded by the Bucks. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Johnson, the pass to Giannis. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got six assists here tonight. And a terrific offensive display here from Giannis, just reminding us of how dominant he can be. And Cleveland turns it over again. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Holiday dishes to Johnson. Middleton on the wing. Back to Johnson. Lopez left side. He kicks it to Johnson. Six to shoot. Back to Lopez. From 15 feet away, the second effort. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball the line comes the inside. Giannis, and a chance for I'm just a second now to check out the scoring shot. breakdown for Cleveland. One drops, he ties it up. 
Richard, you were part of a Cavs team that came back from three games to one down in the NBA Finals to win the title. Remarkable. Just how hard was that to do? Well, let me say this. I think it was the greatest championship ever. And I'm not being biased. Those are the facts. They were the defending champion. They had the two-time MVP. They won 73 wins that year. So for me, that was the most special comeback because we played in the greatest championship of all time. I'm assuming there was no doubt in your mind at all you would come back, correct? Uh, that's a lie. Uh, there was tons of doubt in my mind, but I will say this. When you have a group of guys that stay together, when you're down 3-1, it's because you believe in each other and we believe in ourselves. And Holiday kicks to Johnson. Feeds it to Giannis. That's it. Coming off an assist from Johnson. Johnson's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Timeout called Cleveland. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. You can't be happy with that soft interior D. What the hell? There's a blimp inside? About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Now the pass to Neto. Back to Mitchell. Levert with a wide open look. And he's good on the free ball. Levert's got eight points. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. After the Kumbo finds Middleton. Lopez right side. Johnson against Mitchell. To Johnson. Lock at six. Fades. Here's Anta Takumbo. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Anta Takumbo's got nine points in the quarter. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Rebounded by the Bucks. Donos has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Dishes to Middleton. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. But he's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. Mitchell passes to Levert. Here's Neto. Shoots. Allen trying to break free. Great positioning on the putback. Look, the offensive glass is all about effort and energy. And Allen, look, he's got plenty of both. Hunter to Kubo, dishes to Johnson. To Middleton. Shoots over Levert. Lopez kicks to Johnson. Teardrop shot. Onto Takumbo. Passes to Johnson. The Bucks working the ball around. Middleton inside the three point line. <laughs> Tries to save it. The Bucks getting another chance here. And out of bounds. The Cavaliers will take it. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Garland's checked in. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for the Bucks. Mitchell against Johnson. The fuck, I asked? Mitchell outside. I don't even know who my guy is anywhere. Pass to Mobley. Like, this is going to go well. Good, and it's Mitchell <coughs> at the assist. And the Cavaliers lead by one. The nice touch from the interior. Mobley looks very comfortable shooting from there. And you figured once Gobert was traded, it was a matter of time before Mitchell was moved as well. You knew a team would jump at the chance to add him. And here we are now. A new start with a starring role for Donovan Mitchell. Shot clock at three. And to Takumbo. And he uses the glass on the way. Donovan has got 21. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. And the Cavaliers call time here. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, he's been destroying them inside, and they need a timeout to figure out an answer or a prayer if there is For some teasers!
Kevin Love checked in for Cleveland. The Bucks also with the sub. Portis is checked in. So it's the Cavaliers now. Pass to Love. Back to Garland. Just five on the clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Bucks. And Portis throws it down. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Love right side. To the inside. Mitchell. Get out of my way. This is my love. Mitchell. Mitchell's got five points in the quarter. And he can be slippery when he's up against tight D inside. There's no easy rejection opportunity when you're guarding Mitchell. And up to Kubo, spins it in. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Levert the pass to Love. Fuck! Get out of my way! And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his first foul. The Bucks making a change here. Carter's checked in. Substitution on the court. Mitchell against Johnson. And another miss by Cleveland. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Connaughton passes to Giannis. To the middle. Here's Portis over Love. Kicks it out to Johnson. Shot clock at six. Back to Portis. Carter inside the three-point line. Shot is good off the bat rim and in. And now a five-point Bucks lead. Mitchell outside. The pass to Stevens. Outside Garland. Here's Steffens. Puts it up from 12. The rebound by Johnson. Down low. And to Zakumbo. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. Allen's checked in for the Bucks. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. You look at Anna Dekumbo in this one. He's been everywhere. 
Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Somebody, but I don't think that that's the way. most important thing to him. Sure, putting up big numbers doesn't hurt, but he's all about getting the win over everything else. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Mitchell is out there with Darius Garland. And it's Levert in at the three. Why didn't you go to the lane? For J.D. Bickerstaff as we begin the second half. Nice pass here to set that basket up. The Cavaliers trailing. Pass to Levert. Now here's Mobley. Mitchell outside. The three from Garland. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got his fifth assist in this one. Holiday finds Johnson. Here's Yacht. Count it and the foul. That one on Mobile. Second. Strong What's work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. When you think of backcourt offenses in general, Greg, how critical is ball and player movement to a team's success? Kevin, unless you have incredible isolation scores, it's essential. Even then, keeping the defense rotating and reacting is the best way to create open looks and offensive rebound opportunities. misses and so Garland will bring it up for Cleveland and the shot goes down Mitchell's got 17 a solid passer at his position Levert excels at finding his teammates when they're open oh what an impressive dribble drive that replay brought to you by Mobile One they had a nice score that came from just attacking the rim. Huge play in this hotly contested yeah. game. Something lit a fire under them at the half. That they started this quarter going should have counted as an assist. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And just a top-notch free throw shooter this year. All the way up there at 88%. Did it count? Might have. Might have I might have been at 12. That's good from Lopez. And the leadership Lopez gives this team really important. He's someone his younger teammates look up to. Passes to Levert. Mitchell with the bounce pass. Here's Allen. And that one is off. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Detroit where they'll face the Pistons. Keep going into the lane, Yannis. Brief two game road trip. Holiday finds Hunter Jacumbo. Shoots over Levert. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And I can't think of a higher percentage look than that. Uh, Giannis, one of the best ever working inside. Pass to Levert. For three, Mitchell. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Mitchell's got 20. They've given up a lot of three pointers here today. Greg, an outstanding score. Donovan Mitchell takes it to another Donovan. level in the playoff. Oh, and Kevin, how about yes, all of his averages to book come playoff time? Spider is a guy who wants the limelight and, like other stars, takes on more of a load in the postseason. Cleveland moving the ball around. Here's Allen, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. That's on Brooke Lopez. Hard to stop a guy with Allen's physical gifts inside. Forces the defense to get sloppy and foul. And he hasn't cashed in on his chances at the line, only making one free throw. And the first one at the line is good. Nah, 
so he gets them both. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Adetokounmpo kicks to Johnson. Stolen by Mitchell. And now the fast break. Mitchell with the ball. Oh! And good defensive possession leads to Mitchell's hoop. Like all great scorers, Spida looking to get out in the open floor. And one more look at that fantastic Mobile One drop. No, let's and not look at that. That's a thing of beauty. Certain plays, almost no words. You just sit back and appreciate it. And one of the most athletic players in the league. Giannis makes those alley-oop jams look easy. Cleveland has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. The pass to Levert. And the rejection by Giannis! One look at Evan Mobley and you can see he is built for this position. The height, the length, he's got all the physical gifts that allow for your connections. Well, he Evan has such Mobley. tremendous upside, to Evan shots. Mobley, and we've even heard coaches express jealousy that J.B. Bickerstaff gets to coach him. Young big men usually take time to adapt to this league, not him. Beyond the production, you love his maturity and the leadership by example. And he knocks down the first one. And one thing that is special about Evan Mobley made an immediate defensive impact as a rookie. Something few big men are able to do. Raul Neto's checked in for the Cavaliers. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. As you said, very few rookie big men, Greg, can shape a defense like Mobley did. Kind of reminds you of the impact Tim Duncan had with his defense. But Mobley can protect the rim and stay in front of guards on the perimeter. Boy, sky is the limit for him defensively. And the Cavaliers call time here. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis under the Kumbo. This timeout gives them a chance to strategize because whatever the game plan they have, it's not working. It's Levert on the wing. There's the triple. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Count that one. Giannis has got 40 points. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Back to Levert. the Nakumbo against Mobley. Here's Neto. He averages about uh, five points a game. Four on the clock. Over Lopez. And it's sent back by Lopez. It's a bonus whenever Lopez comes up with the SWAT. Want to see more of this from the big fella. Johnson with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Lopez over Allen, and there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Johnson. Now it's a six-point Bucks lead. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Mobley against out of the Kumbo, and here's Mitchell from the arc. Eight for 15 with that made basket, but he's not satisfied yet. And all of a sudden, that three puts them in striking distance, guys. He's had that shot working all night. And I bet he's thinking that he could close the gap completely if he can keep those threes coming. The shot by Holiday, no good. For Cleveland, they've gone even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. 
Offensive rebound. And the rejection by Adekumbo. And if Giannis is anywhere close to you, don't shoot. His lift covers a ton of ground. <clears throat> and boy, is he fast. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Kevin Love's checked in for Mobile. And it's Jetty Osman in for Lavert. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Portis is checked in. Milwaukee leading by three. Holiday, the pass to Johnson. Lopez against Allen. Lopez kicks to Middleton. Okay. It's good again in an excellent seven for eight shooting night so far. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Castaneda. Here's Osman. Castaneda. Good. Nice job down low. Neto's got five now. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Holiday finds Johnson. Get down into the low post. Lopez left side. Back to Johnson. Lopez left side. Passes it to Johnson. Middleton for three. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got four rebounds now tonight. Locked up there for Allen. Here's Osman, defended by Middleton. And here's Neto outside. No good on that one. The Bucks go the other way with it. They've led by as much as 10. Here's Johnson. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint Johnson. in this sort of a grind it out game. And let's take a moment here. And to now I have to shoot a freaking free throw. So far for the Bucks and oh Cleveland making a change here. <clears throat> Stevens is checked in, and Milwaukee also making a switch. Jason Allen's checked in for Drew Holiday. Cavaliers trail by six. Guys, they're looking for a way. Thank you, Neto. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And again, another assist. Dishing it all over the place in this one. He's tallying them up in bunches. And so it's Neto. Will you give it to me again, Neto? No. Next up for them, the next a road game in New York. It's game one of a three-game road trip. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Brooke Lopez. Pat Connaughton. On defense, the Bucks. Eight-point game. Here's Neto. Five points in the game. And it's Osman missing. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. The Bucks working the ball around. A fader. And that Middleton. one, good. Assistant. Middleton's got Johnson. the lead up to 10 now for Milwaukee. And just about every one of Middleton's shots is a smart one. Even for mid-range, he's not going to force anything. Two minutes. Here's Neto. He's guarded by Johnson. And the foul called Johnson. on MP. <coughs> that's foul number two for him. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Darwin is checked in for Jetty Osman. One fifty two left here in the third quarter. Love outside. Just four to shoot. NATO. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. That's good from Allen on the assist by Johnson. And the Bucks lead by 12. 
And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Johnson. All right. I'll have to stop. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And with the free throw percentage hovering around 70, he knows he has to bring that up. He can't get the first one. Cavaliers making a switch here. Laverge checked in. And he's good on the second. Milwaukee leading by 11. Middleton right side. Pass to Connaughton. Johnson with it. Guarded by Garland. Portis against him. Five on the clock. Middleton right side. Over Love. And another assist. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. Just doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. Garland kicks to Levert. Back to Garland. Middleton against Love. Neto surveying the floor. The three from Garland. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Johnson, the pass to Middleton. Johnson outside. Allen for the three. Good on the three-point shot. Three. Allen's got five points now in the quarter. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple <coughs> pass, and I'm coming for my revenge. When you combine his length and leaping ability, Allen is a ridiculous lob threat. Left side, Portis. Misses from short range. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Giannis under the Kumbo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Bucks. Scoring, rebounding. He was all over the place during that quarter. They are riding his performance right now. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. And for the defense, it's so tough to guard a big man with that kind of court vision and dime dropping ability. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. On the floor for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. Holiday out there with Johnson, and it's Ingles in at the small forward. Lopez kicks to Ingles. And stolen by Love. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. A three-pointer no good. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Holiday, that's in, coming off the Good assist from Johnson. Holiday's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bucks. Able to absorb contact. Holiday is not someone that is prone to lose focus on these tough takes. Holiday against Garland. Shot clock at five. Mitchell kicks to Mobley. Nailed from three-point land. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. 
the nine foot shot. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Mitchell with it, out guarded by Giannis. Gets it down to single digits. Mobley. And it's eight Jonathan points for Mitchell Evan Mobley. With the assist. And how about the awareness of Mitchell? That, that's what stands out to me. He, he has a decision to make and does it with terrific timing. Lopez inside. He's going up against Love. Johnson, the pass to on the Kumbo. The box working the ball around. Outside Holiday. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And you have to be right up on Holiday. When you're not, he's ready to take those quick shots. Mitchell outside. There's the pass to Levert. Outside Garland. Over Holiday. Rebound Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis is just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Inside, here's Lopez. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. The assist. And the Bucks lead Johnson. by 13. And I love it when Lopez attacks inside. Even with contact, he can find a way to score. Is Garland Mobley trying to free himself up? Garland with the bucket. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Mitchell against Johnson. Down low. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. Shooting a great clip in the second half. He made some nice adjustments in the locker room. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. And Lavert, here we go. For three, Mitchell. Another three for Cleveland. Three triples in the first half, three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Holiday finds Johnson on the wing angle. On the wing angle. Johnson, the pass to Lopez. Back to Johnson. And to the Kumbo inside. Covered by Mobley. Mobley with the block. Hard to protect your shot from Mobley's lane. Look, he just bats that ball away. Holiday against Garland. Kicks it out to Love. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And great for Kevin Love. He feels like he's got a lot of years left in the lead. And Kevin, Kevin coming Love. off the bench, Shane Wendman, the end of his career. He can thrive as a bench weapon with that green light, and he's got that light to let it fly with that shot. That free throw good from Long. And in the back half of his career, Kevin Love has found joy playing in this new role. He's embraced a leadership role off the bench by encouraging his teammates and playing with great energy. Plus, he can still fill it up offensively, especially from deep. And the Bucks making a change here. Middleton's checked in. Both free throws good from Kevin Love. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Timeout called the Bucks. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And Holiday has it in the corner. 
back to Johnson. And Holiday kicks to Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Lopez against Love. Another possession, another assist. Another possession, another assist. You know, Greg, he's sharing the ball well, hitting his guys in their spots. Johnson against Mitchell. Now, here's Levert. He feeds it to Garland. Love trying to break loose. And the shot is good. The Bucks lead has been cut down to eight on the bucket from Garland. He is a leader on and off the floor. Garland, this man is a coach's dream. Back to Johnson. Pass to Lopez. And another assist for him. 25 assists. Johnson. What an unselfish performance. He has been a sensational playmaker. Mitchell against Johnson. Mitchell kicks to Levert. The three from Garland. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Bucks leading by 10. Johnson up top, covered by Mitchell. Back to Johnson. Middleton up top. He dishes it to Johnson. Here's Giannis. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got six rebounds in the game. Garland feeling it out a little bit. Johnson against Mitchell. Shoots over Johnson. The shot by Mitchell, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Johnson, the pass to Giannis. Oh, come on, Giannis. Put it up. Good, and it's Johnson with the assist that time. Giannis has got 42 in the game. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Mobley against Antetokounmpo. Cavaliers moving the ball around. Mobley kicks to Levert. That one goes in. And with a solid size at his position, Levert's able to make shots over the tight defense. Holiday dishes to Johnson. Lopez left side. Back to Johnson. Lopez left side. Middleton on the wing. Johnson outside. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Holiday with the three. With one on the clock. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And, and Giannis knows how to compete. He knows you got to fight for those second chance opportunities. Timeout called Cleveland. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. With a short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on J.B. Bickerstaff's huddle. He is not happy with the turnover. He said, we have got to get some shots. It's as simple as that, guys. Play smart and value the basketball. We'll see if the message sunk in, Kevin. Thank you, David. Milwaukee leading by 12. Pass to Johnson. On the wing, Holiday, guarded by Garland. Back to Johnson. Giannis right side. Lock at six. 
And they pick up two. Andre the Kumbo's got 46 points. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Johnson outside. Middleton on the wing. Garland against Johnson. Lopez left side. Uh, the Kumbo trying to free himself up. And Conte's got the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Richard, it sure seems like the play-in tournament is here to stay. Were you skeptical when it was first suggested? No, I actually like it. Now, my opinion is that it shouldn't be 7-8. and eight. I think teams should just play for 8. I think that that is so difficult to take those two spots. And 7, there's a lot of really good teams that can be in that 7. So I think just play for 8, and I think it makes the rest of the league in that bottom area have something to fight for, which is positive for young teams. Not playing for two spots, but just playing for the one spot. Just playing for the one spot. That 7 spot... You can have a really good team there that just struggled a little bit. We could indeed. Good point. Rick Lopez hits them both. The Cavaliers trail by 16. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Bucks. They really lit it up in this one. Fantastic offensive performance. Definitely just simply shot the ball well. One of those games to be proud of. And so when you look at the season record, this one will tally up win number 43 on the year. And they cap off the That's season the series Cleveland. with one more win. Jared it's Allen. been nothing but W's for your four straight. The well, one go. player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Honestly, I just love how relentless he is on the glass, making a big effort to pull the ball in and give his teammates extra chances. Yeah, nobody cares about the guy with 26 assists, huh? First free throw is good. Richard, last season, a historically close race for the scoring title. And it came down to the wire between LeBron, Joel Embiid, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. It was thrilling those last couple games. It was beautiful. To me, it reminded me of 90s basketball when you had Shaq. Oh, and I think that's David the end Robinson of that. And Patrick Ewing and Hick And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. The end of the game. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Tonight. That's exactly team, right. But with the way they control the game and, and just time. completely took the crowd night, out of it, everybody. that's how to get it done on the road. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for Another now. Another playmaking badge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. So long, everyone. speed and acceleration might not be a bad idea how much can I get into free throws a bit.
I could max out my strength. I wonder what good that would do for me. I don't think it would do much of anything for me. I could give myself some jumping ability, but I don't even know what key causes me to jump. I don't think that's that useful. Honestly, I want to keep working on playmaking. So we'll go a little more ball handling and we'll put the rest into free throws. And then the badge we probably won't be able to spend. this. Hyperdrive increases the speed at which a player can perform moving dribble moves as they attack down the court. I mean, maybe? Sure, why not? See what that does. <clears throat> and I th well, we're going to check and see how close we've gotten this time. We're up to 11.9. So that's as high as first place was, I think, last time we checked. We're number one in assists per game. Very, very, very nice. And we got our steals per game up another point one, So that's a good thing. Now that we're the, the league leader in assists, have we registered in the all-star voting at all? Well, this is the Western Conference. Eastern is us. Okay. Nope. Not even in the discussion. Everybody cares about scoring and scoring only. Oh well. All right, let's wrap up this episode. Anyway, I'm James Johnson, aka Software Blade. Hopefully, you're enjoying the content. If so, please smash that like button, consider subscribing, and until the next time, all peace. <laughs>